the space race isn't just for nations anymore. Private companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX are vying for dominance in the final frontier, fueled by the ambitions of their billionaire founders, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. While SpaceX has garnered significant attention for its rapid advancements and numerous milestones, Blue Origin has been playing a more measured, though arguably slower, game. However, recent developments signal a shift in Blue Origin's strategy. In late 2023, the company made a pivotal change by replacing their CEO, Bob Smith, with Dave Lim, a veteran of Amazon. This shift in leadership has ignited a visible acceleration in the company's operations, marked by increased testing and manufacturing activities. Lim's arrival has brought a new wave of transparency, with regular updates showcasing Blue Origin's progress. Images of the lunar lander, built under NASA contract, and the Glenn Rocket Manufacturing Facility have been shared publicly, along with footage of launch pad tests and engine ignitions. Notably, Blue Origin recently conducted a milestone test involving the first stage of their new Glenn rocket, showcasing the deployment of its landing legs, a crucial step towards reusability. While this may seem like a small step for Blue Origin, which is yet to send a rocket into orbit, it represents a significant technological advancement, drawing inspiration from SpaceX's successful Falcon 9 landings. However, New Glenn's landing system, with its six stowed landing legs, differs from the Falcon 9's three detachable legs, posing both challenges and opportunities. The company is aiming for a 25-mission lifespan for the first stage, and the possibility of seeing New Glenn and Falcon 9 side-by-side -side at Port Canaveral, where both are expected to be present, is generating considerable excitement. This upcoming reunion will also include ULA's Vulcan rocket, creating a rare spectacle of three leading U.S. space providers. New Glenn stands out for its size and payload capacity, boasting a 322-foot height and the ability to lift 50 tons into low Earth orbit, LEO, surpassing the Falcon 9's capacity by roughly twofold. Its payload fairing, large enough to accommodate three school buses, is another key differentiator. However, concerns persist regarding the production rate of Blue Origin's B-4 engines, which power both New Glenn and Vulcan. Past delays in delivering engines to ULA have fueled worries about their ability to meet the demands of both rocket programs. Despite this, recent reports indicate a positive turnaround in engine production, with increased testing activity in the Huntsville area. Blue Origin is actively pursuing a diverse portfolio of launches, including NASA's Escapade mission to Mars, support for future Artemis missions, and contracts with satellite communication companies like Telesat and Utelsat. The company's commitment to Bezos Amazon and its Project Kuiper program also adds a significant number of launches to their roster. While Blue Origin is undeniably focused on its own development, their actions clearly demonstrate a desire to compete with SpaceX, pushing the boundaries of space exploration. The race to the stars is far from over, and the rivalry between Bezos and Musk promises to bring continued advancements and breathtaking moments in the coming years. The space race is on, and it's not just between nations anymore. Private companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX are locked in a fierce competition to claim dominance in the final frontier. While Elon Musk's SpaceX has captured headlines with its rapid advancements and numerous milestones, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin has been playing a more calculated, albeit slower, game. But lately, their tactics have raised eyebrows, hinting at a strategy that prioritizes hindering their chief rival. This past June, Blue Origin submitted a public comment to the FAA, requesting a limitation on the number of SpaceX Starship launches. This isn't an isolated incident. Blue Origin has repeatedly employed such tactics, aiming to slow down SpaceX's ambitious plans. While their ambition to win is evident, their methods have drawn criticism. Using legal maneuvers to impede a competitor's progress, especially when trailing behind in technological development, is widely seen as an unfair and desperate play. These actions also reveal a hidden anxiety. Fear. Is Blue Origin afraid of SpaceX's dominance? Or could it be that their own rocket, New Glenn, is facing internal challenges, prompting these underhanded tactics? While Blue Origin officials confidently announce a 2024 launch for New Glenn, doubts persist regarding their timeline. Despite the public comment's lack of legal power, the FAA will consider it when deciding on restrictions for Starship and the Kennedy Space Center launch site. 
And Blue Origin isn't alone in their opposition to SpaceX. ULA, another major player in the space industry, has also submitted similar requests. This collective opposition speaks volumes about the perceived threat SpaceX poses to the established players. Adding fuel to the fire are rumors that Blue Origin is the buyer of ULA, a move that would further solidify their position in the market. However, even with ULA under their wing, Blue Origin faces a daunting task. The stark reality is that they are trailing significantly behind SpaceX in technological innovation. SpaceX's vertical landing technology, a pioneering achievement, stands as a testament to their ingenuity. Their first successful landing on a landing zone in 2015, followed by the first drone ship landing in 2016, cemented their lead in reusable rocket technology. Blue Origin's landing leg system, still under development, is years behind. And even if it becomes operational, replicating the impressive reusability record of Falcon rockets will be an uphill battle. SpaceX, meanwhile, has taken reusability to an entirely new level. They've introduced the revolutionary Mechazilla arms, designed to catch and stack the Starship, eliminating the need for landing legs altogether. While I'm a fan of the traditional landing leg approach, I can't deny that SpaceX's technology is pushing the boundaries of what's possible, even compared to Starship still under development, new Glenn lags behind. SpaceX has already conducted four integrated flights, achieving significant milestones, including the first successful dual-stage landing. Matching these achievements will demand a considerable effort from Blue Origin. Despite the potential merger between Blue Origin and ULA, I believe SpaceX's position remains robust. ULA, a key player in the government and military launch market, is facing increasing competition from SpaceX. While their new Vulcan rocket is in development, its launch certification from the USSF remains pending. However, there's a silver lining. New Glenn's progress, after numerous delays, is a positive sign for the US space industry. After 24 years of development, Blue Origin needs to shed the embarrassment of not yet reaching orbit and finally join the race as a major competitor. The global space race, with countries like China making strides, needs a strong contender to rival SpaceX. This rivalry benefits everyone pushes SpaceX to continue innovating and breaking records. Both companies play key roles in NASA's return to the moon, with SpaceX's Starship slated for Artemis 3 and 4, while New Glenn is earmarked for Artemis 5. For now, I hope Blue Origin focuses on accelerating their progress rather than engaging in legal battles. The space race is about pushing the boundaries of human potential, and we need both companies to reach their full potential. It's time for Blue Origin to step up to the challenge and join the race for the stars. The space race is a story of ambition, fear, and a race against time. Blue Origin's recent actions suggest a company struggling to catch up, resorting to desperate measures to slow down their rival. But with the future of space exploration hanging in the balance, it's crucial for all players to focus on advancing the field, not on undermining one another. The stars are waiting, and the race is on.